I welcome you all in my channel. Linda's TV show is a news presentation and analysis channel which aim and objective is to get you informed about what is happening in the whole world, especially in Nigeria. And how do I do this? I present to you news before I present the news or allowing the news to play. I analyze it so that you have an idea of what you are about to watch. Then after that, I will sit down there like you all always see. I will sit down and watch the video together with you. Then we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. And you, my viewers, my amazing people, I appreciate you all. Please, after watching each of the video, your contribution is highly needed. And if you like the video and the channel, after watching, subscribe. And I will be watching the video together with you. So you tell me what you think, your opinion about that video and this great channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I am amazing viewers for tuning in again. May God Almighty bless you. Before I drop this video within a minute, please, I beg you to exercise patience to watch this video to the end because you are going to get one or two points. So this uh, video, when I listened to it, I was shocked to hear Ekwere Mado saying this. For those who may not know him, this is Ekwere Mado. These are the people we have in the house that are supposed to be speaking for us. It is only Senator Abaribe that has been speaking for us. I was surprised for him to stand up here and talk about insecurity. He said that any government that does not uh, protect its citizens is <laughs> is not a gov uh, is not a legitimate governor so my question is this he knows what is going on he knows what his people is fighting for why can't a you guys know what happens to him when he came to uh, germany here i was even there live that day when he came and what they did to him so today he have opened his eyes all of them they are repenting gradually okay i'm going to play the video for you to watch right now leave your comment your contribution or anything you think about but this video, bye bye. Mr. President, esteemed colleagues, the tragedy is that those of us who are in sympathy with them are also buffeted. In the southeast, soldiers are killed, police are killed, police stations are destroyed, innocent people are also killed, kidnapped on a daily basis. Same goes for southwest, north central, northwest, and other parts of this country. So we've come to a point where we have to decide whether to shut down government and deal with this or continue as, as if business as usual. Mr. President, you recall in last Senate, you headed a summit which we discussed thoroughly the, the security situation in Nigeria and made recommendations. Regrettably, nothing has happened about that. In this particular Senate, we have seen senator after senator, from Arafa to Alin Dume. To most of our colleagues here, who were in the last Senate, speak, spoke about the insecurity in Nigeria and the fact that it will get worse. And so sad that those we predicted, all those things we predicted, are not happening. Mr. President, I don't intend to reemphasize the fact that any government that cannot protect, protect its citizens, whether it is local government or state or federal, has lost legitimacy. This is time for us to sit up and take business of the current people seriously. I know that a lot of people will speak on this and I appeal to you, Mr. President, to allow our colleagues to make contributions on this very subject. If it is the only thing we discuss today, I think we have done a lot for our country. Mr. President, the situation we found out in our country today is not irreversible. It is that the problem is that we have not been able to pay sufficient attention or take this matter seriously. Sri Lanka, Colombia, Israel, They've gone through this road and they overcame them. So we should not be ashamed to seek support and assistance of such countries to help us. We had COVID-19 in this country in year 2020. Some states were shut down in order to deal with that situation. I think this time has come for a place like Niger State to be completely shut down and protect their citizens so that we'll be able to save those who are still alive. If we cannot do that, then we're not serious and then we're not fair to those who are alive. Those who, those who are killed in Nigeria, on the basis of Sinatra zone or, 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 or geopolitical zone on the, on the daily basis. And more than in 10 senators who are present, we are here 109. They kill more than 109 people every day 
in every geopolitical of this country. These are not just statistics, they are human beings. So, Mr. President, time has come for us, if possible, to shut down this Senate and be able to find a solution to this matter. If we need to meet here again tomorrow, or maybe on executive session, I revisit all this issue I've said before, and represented to the federal government, I think it is worth the day. So, I support this motion, and I believe that, Mr. President, you have the way with her to lead this Senate, to be able to tell the federal government and tell them exactly what we want and what nations this country want. We represent every senatorial zone here. It is our responsibility to convey to the federal government the seriousness of this matter. And I believe that this time, the time is now. I support the motion moved by, by my general brother from Niger based on his sad experiences. And uh, the sad experiences are going around the whole nation now. I was so shocked as from last Sunday on the other week, Gedan was attacked. That's the home base of our leader here. Then uh, on Sunday again, the IGSO. Yeah, that's IGSO. On Sunday again, the whole CEO was bombarded by our own Air Force by mistake, and the whole unit was wiped out. Just some villages close to Damat uh, to Beluguri. Every day, we continue to rise up for one minute and uh, be sad. I think if we continue to uh, count the Catholic of what has happened, we will not leave this place today. The Senator Sabi has already said something drastic must be done. When the government cannot maintain security again, economic problem is mounting, then something drastic must be done. The Senate must do its work. We have the power. We can install, we can remove. If it means we have to look at that clause, we have to sit down and talk in executive uh, uh, meetings and harmonize and do it the way we should do it. If not, one day we will sit down here one small boy will carry AK-47, everybody will run away, and some of us who could, who could be able to use a, a Montecum clause, we can run away. But few of us may not be lucky. Are we going to wait for that time until we take a decision? Every day, all the northern governors, they ran to Sanfara the other time. The, very, the next day, they killed a lot of people in Sanfara. The governors in their own state, they pay condolences to each other. In that, the life Nigeria must live. So, Mr. President, something drastic to make government sit down or government to quit so that at least we will have a new leaf of life. I so submit, Mr. President, if the government has failed to protect us, then we should be able to, the journey should be able to do the needs to. What are we waiting for? Is it until when all of us die? Then we will go and do it in every... Linda, TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye-bye.